Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In today's episode of In the Light of Ramadan series we will be talking about the virtue of observing Qiyamul Layl during the month of Ramadan Firstly we, know the, we have to know the rulings on Qiyamul Layl The scholar says its ruling is encourage, highly encourage Sunnah which is refers to Sunnah to Ma'akkada as Allah SWT and his Prophet وسلم, legislated it for us in the deen. Allah SWT told us in Surah Muzammil, Ya you al Muzammil, O you who wrapped himself in clothing, praying to the Prophet. So Allah SWT says, Kumil layla ila kolila, wake up in the night to pray, even if it's little. Nisfa huwa win kusmin hu kolila, half of the night, or a win kusmin hu kolila, or lower than half. Warotili Qur'ana Tarutila and what recite the Quran as it's supposed to be recited. The Prophet Muhammad said that Abdul Abdallu Salah Bind al Farido Salatul Lil that the best of the prayer after the obligating one is the one performed at night. And that's what Allah has also told us in Suratul Isra Fajitahid that we should try and wake up at night to perform prayer. So it should be additional it should be additional to what we have prayed uh, in the afternoon. So that Allah SWT, we expect Allah SWT to raise, resurrect us in the position of high station. Now, we'll go to the meaning of Qiyamul Lil. The meaning of Qiyamul Lil is reviving the night with righteous deeds, good deeds, which encompasses observing Salah, reciting the Quran, remembering Allah SWT in victory, and making a lot of salawat upon the noble soul of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and learning about the deen like hadith and others. So we can see in this Qiyamul Layl, so we can see some art of worship like the Tahajud prayer and the Tarawih prayer, so in the month of Ramadan. So what's the difference between uh, Qiyamul Layl, Tahajud and Tarawih? So, so scholars say Tahajud and Tarawih so it's encompassed in the word Qiyamul Layl. That is, Qiyamul Layl is reviving a full night or part of the night. So with solar and other art of worship. That is, when we wake up from uh, Tajud uh, means when we wake up from sleep so, and to perform solar. So, so scholars say that it's only, it only encompasses solar, not more than solar. Why Tarawih? So it's one that is pray at the first part of the night. So in congregation, highly recommended in congregation. And this Salah to Tarawih, so from the name it implies, so it's not Salah that is to, supposed to be prayed in rushing manner. So it's supposed to be praying in four and rest, four and rest. So, and Warotili le Quran or Terutila, Allah SWT says that we should also recite the Quran as it's supposed to be recited with Tejweed. So we should not be fast or rushing with our Tarawih. So we also see Salatul Witri, so which is the odd number prayer, which is pray after the end of the night prayer. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever has prayed Witri, maybe in Tarawih with Imam, so cannot pray it uh, whenever I want to wake up again, so in the middle of the night, because La Witrani Fil Layla, there is no two Witri in one night. So we'll talk about the time, the best time to observe this Qiyamul Layl. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that it is better to observe Qiyamul Layl at the last third part of the night. As Allah SWT descend every night to, to the heaven of the earth, that Allah SWT will be asking his slave that who is calling him, he should answer the, he should answer, he should answer the person. And who is asking something from him, he should give the person. And who is asking for his forgiveness, Allah SWT should forgive that person. So we can see that this one is what a righteous art, art, so that can make us move close, closer to Allah SWT. So one of the advantages of Qiyamul Layl is that what we get our sin, previous sins, expiated. So uh, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Ma qama Ramadana imana wa hisaban, gufir Allahu ma taqadam min zambi." Whoever 
wake up so to perform night prayer in the month of Ramadan with faith and hoping and seeking reward from Allah SWT, you know, the previous sins of that person will be forgiven. So Allah SWT, uh, also said that we should observe Salah to Lail so that we may move closer to Allah SWT, that if you observe Salah to Lail, we will uh, have high station uh, inside of Allah SWT. And also, Salah to Lail prevents us from immoral acts and wrongdoings. And also, the time of Salah to Lail is one of the times that prayer has been answered by Allah SWT. So we should try to revive part of this night if it is not full or lower than half so so that our prayers can be answered also we've talked about the best time to observe it so which is the last third part of the night and how to observe this qiyamu layl salatu layl so uh the prophet Muhammad said a salatu layl mathna mathna the night prayer is observed in two unit prayer that is two rocker two rocker so after that, we should now end it with witri prayer. We said earlier that witri prayer is odd number. So it can be one, it can be three, it can be five, it can be seven. So we should end it with witri prayer. But the, the most observed by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so in the Tarawih, so or in Tahajud, so it's 11 Raka or 13 Raka. So these are the two most observed prayer by, uh, night prayer by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 13 or 11. So 10 to in twos and 1 as odd. So 10 in twos and 3 as odd. So these are the two uh, Salat to Witri that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to observe most. So we ask Allah SWT to make what you've said beneficial for us in this life and hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.